Hey guys, I'm Daniel Hart. I'm with Ralston Hoekstrom, and I'm here today to talk about three things on MyFab trend strains. All right, first off, what is trend strain? Trend strain is an elongated drainage channel that goes in the ground and is covered with a grate. Uh, it's used to shed excess water from standing surface. This stuff is used everywhere, from your backyard patio to warehouses to baseball stadiums to airports. So we have different channels for anything from A, your light duty, your walking surfaces that could be like a plastic channel all the way to F on like an airport runway that'd be 200 plus thousand pounds going over it. So when is this going in? Uh, a lot of times it'll be precast before they're pouring the concrete in the ground. They'll channel it out, uh, place it in, and then concrete over it. So concrete guys would be placing this in, or it can be placed in after the fact. Some of your plumbers, it's put on them to actually cut out the pre-existing concrete and place it in and then uh, set it. All right, number two, what is GRP uh, compared to concrete polymer? So GRP is a glass fiber reinforced plastic. Uh, and then you have your concrete polymer, which has kind of been the industry standard for a long time. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of go over what the differences are and why GRP is better. So that's gonna be our number three. So why is GRP better? Well, first of all, it's a lot lighter weight. I can pick it up with one hand. This guy is about 75% heavier. Um, it's also safer to install due to its light weight. Uh, another benefit of it is it's stackable when you ship it. So you can ship uh, 80 of these compared to 40 of these. So you're gonna have less freight damage um, less freight cost in shipping because of the lighter weight and stackable option on one pallet. And then also just your warehousing. Um, it's going to be a lot less warehousing for um, stocking this product compared to this because of its stackable nature. So another, another benefit of the GRP product is uh, thermal expansion. So in com comparison to the uh, comparable competitive product, it is a lot closer to the actual thermal expansion properties of concrete. So as it expands and contracts within the weather, the cold, the heat, everything, this is going to have a lot less thermal expansion than this. So it's going to follow that concrete a lot more. You're going to have a lot less um, cracking and things like that because of that uh, in the ground. So after going over all the benefits of GRP, I know the big question is, well, how much is it? How much more is it than the comparable competitive product? It's the same price. So for years, this product was a lot more expensive on the market, and they figured out how to get that price down to match the competition in the market. So it's kind of a no-brainer for any of your end users out there to install this product. It's got so many more benefits over what we've been using for years. Um, so... Contact your local rep uh, with questions or pricing on my fat product. Now I'm going to shoot you guys over to a video to see how this stuff's installed. All right, here is just a short video and then a short animation on how to install trench drain. You can see he's preparing the trench right now. And just like any concrete job, you've got to lay the proper underlayment and get everything ready for the trench drain. You can see his level line drawn across there, and he's going to need to install the top of the trench drain just about an eighth inch below. As you can see, this is polymer concrete tr trench drain, the very heavy trench drain he's going to install first. A little bit of a primitive installation technique here where he's leveling it on the ground with, with bricks. We'll see on the GRP a little bit more of a sophisticated installation method. You can see how heavy this stuff is, and he's, he's got bricks down there, and he needs some help hoisting this stuff into place. And basically, you're going to put your drain basin in first, make sure everything's level, and then just add the trench section by section across the span. Uh, when you get ready to pour the concrete and actually set this in the concrete, you're going to cover it with plastic, and then make sure that the trench is secured and so they're going to pour a couple of a uh, couple of spots here just to make sure the the trench is set before they do the final pour let that cure a little bit and he's testing it here to make sure that's all stable they got it where they need it and then they're just going to fill in the wrench the rest of the uh the trench concrete and uh and finish it off there very interesting process and then it's just a standard concrete pour after that. And then this 
French is permanently embedded in the um, in the ground right there. You can see here. Next, we're going to see an animation of actually a GRP installation, a little bit more sophisticated. GRP is just easier to work with. You don't install your drain outlets, and um, it's easily modifiable. You've got your catch basin there. You uh, install first. You've got your level line going across, so you know exactly uh, where to position the trench drain. And then it's just a matter of adding sections. With this, uh, these special installation tools here, you just, uh, basically rebar connectors you install on the bottom of the trench. It makes it very easy to install. You just pound your rebar into the ground and then just set your sections on top of the rebar and you can level them using, using the nuts included and then just build your trench across. Super easy. Of course, it's lighter, so it's easier and safer to work with as well. Once it's, once it's all set, you're gonna pour your finishing con concrete and then you are all set to go. Install the grates on top and you've got a finished trench. Thanks everybody for attending this three things, 10 minute product spotlight on MyFab Trench Trains.